Hello and welcome. Today I want to show you how to combine parts of a metahuman into one single mesh using blueprints so you can use it inside Niagara. Okay, so to begin, I'm going to add the third person template to my project. This is so I have Quinn and I need to enable a plugin. So I look for skeletal merging and enable it. You may need to restart the engine. I am now going to quickly create Niagara system. This is not important to the tutorial, so I am going to speed through it. Basically, I'm setting up a basic Niagara system and I'm going to use Quinn as the spawn for this system, which you will now see. There we go. Okay, what I have here is a basic scene with a metahuman in it. I've coloured the metahuman all white. That is the reason it looks like this. All I did is just change all the materials to a white porcelain material. Okay, so what we need to do in order to combine our meshes or parts of the body is first create a custom event. And I'm going to call this... Meta merge meta human. Brilliant. Next, we need to obtain all the meshes we want to combine. So that will be uh, these here. So um, body, face, torso, legs, and feet. In this case, let me just click quickly tidy these up and line them. Brilliant. Right, what I need to do next is find get skeletal mesh asset. Here we are. And then I'm just going to duplicate this for each one of these. And then I'm going to join them all up. Okay, so what we need to do now is create an array from these. Um, I'm going to line them up first. And so I'm going to right click and find make array. And Join the first one and then add the pins for the rest. And connect them up. Now we have an array of skeletal mesh assets. Next, we need to find merge. Here we go. Make skeletal mesh merge params. And let me just align this and drag out of the array into meshes to merge. Um, strip top LODs. I'm going to put in a value of a seven or eight here. You may want to experiment with this. I'm not entirely sure. I've got this right at the moment. Right, check need CPU access and find the skeleton, which is metahuman base skeleton. There we go. Okay, so now we actually need to do the merging process. So let's get our custom event. Well, let me find merge meshes. Here we are. Choose this one here under merge mesh and we're going to drag out of our params and place it into the params input and drag our custom event into the merge meshes drag out of merge meshes 
and promote to variable and name this variable something like combined mesh. Select body and add a new skeletal mesh component as a child and name this combined. Hit compile and drag combined into the event graph. Right, next we need a set skeletal mesh asset for combined. And join the output of the previous node with the new mesh input of this node. Now we need a leader component for the pose. So set leader pose component on combined. It's given an extra combined here. I'm going to just use the previous one. For the new leader bone component, drag in body and connect that. Then check force update and the next box, hit compile and save all. Select body and find always tick pose and refresh bones and do the same for combined and compile and save. Okay, we're about done with this already. So I'm going to comment it, select everything and create comment from selection and give it a name combine single mesh i've called it in this case okay so what i think we should do is just try out our new combined mesh so if i select my custom event and come over to the details panel and select call in editor then I select body, face, legs, and feet, everything that isn't the combined, and I'm just going to hide it for the moment. Let's turn off visibility for it. And so, well, I've missed the shirt, but it's okay. So if I hit the button, merge metahuman, here we have a merged metahuman. Now, it doesn't look pretty, but obviously we're going to be using this combined mesh for something like uh, Niagara, so it's not that important. Uh, maybe playing with the LOD settings may help. Right. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So let's go back into our blueprint. Um, Re-enable and always tick pose and refresh bones for all our meshes, except for combined. I want that visibility turned off. So all we have now is our normal metahuman. Right. Next, we on construction, we need to call our custom event. So find merge metahuman and connect it up and compile. And in the event graph, choose our custom event and just turn off call in editor because we don't need it anymore. Right, that's it. We are completely set up we now have the ability to merge a metahuman inside a blueprint. Okay, so let's connect this with our Niagara system. So I'm going to come to the end of the section I just created and drag off this node and find add Niagara particle system component or add Niagara particle system component. And then drag off this and find set scale Niagara skeletal mesh component. Okay. I'm going to join these two nodes together like so. And then we need to find dragging combine, sorry, and place that into skeletal mesh component, compile and save. And we need to now find our Niagara system, which was called character dissolve. There it is. And that's it.
Now what I'm going to quickly do is just make some changes to my Ni Niagara system. Again, I'll cover this in another tutorial at some point until I get the desired results. But as you can see, the particles are now following our combined mesh. If you would like to support the channel, you can go to the link in the description and buy me a coffee from buymeacoffee.com. Alternatively, you can click the thanks button underneath this video and help that way. More tutorials are on the way, but for now, could you please hit the like and subscribe button and comment below with any questions. I will see you in the next one.